You've heard lots of relationship advice over the years, but this title is pretty unique. The book is called Stop Calling Him Honey and Start Having Sex. This is the new book by Maggie Arana and Julianne Davis, and they're both here to explain why you should not use pet names with your spouse. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Julianne, why not? Well, because it takes away your gender, your uniqueness, and by doing that, you're not interested, you don't find each other interesting and fascinating anymore. Right, But the thing is, is it's not just about calling each other honey, sweetie, pookie, whatever. It's about all the habits that a lot of us do in our daily lives that um, sabotages our desire for one another. And it's a little bit counterintuitive because a lot of people think, oh, but this is the way I should be with my partner. But it's that very thing that we all believe is okay. Like what else? Well you get a bit too complacent with one another. You, um, you think that you want to um, show each other every aspect of yourself. You, you have know. an open bathroom door policy, oh, right. which is yeah. not good. That's or bad, if you have it? children, you're calling each other mommy or daddy, or you're using baby talk with one another. Um, you're a bit too complacent. You're not arguing enough uh, who you are as an individual. Yeah, All of and those what, what we found after years of talking to people was the, the connection between pet names and a lack of sex, and uh, it was a surprise to us, too. But Maggie, you kind of lived this, and you only realized it after your relationship ended mm -hmm. that you guys had not called each other by your first names in years. That's true. I had a, a long-term relationship, 20 years, and uh, during probably the second half of it, we were uh, what we call roommates, the roommate syndrome. Which but we, is really interesting because the roommate syndrome, it's like the great secret. So many people have been together a yeah, long time like I, Maggie. I thought we were unusual, but mm. we weren't. And we loved each other, respected each other. We were best friends. Um, but after uh, a few years we weren't having sex and when I saw him later uh, after uh, we broke up um, we started calling each other by our names and I realized how powerful your name is it's your individuality it's it's your part of your male femaleness um, but our book isn't just about honey it's about as I said all the bad habits that what, couples and, and, fall and into. What's, what's interesting about that as well is that you know, we had we read all of these kinds of books, and but the thing that's different about what we've written is that we address the core issue of why people lose their desire in the first place, why you end up as roommates rather than lovers. And by doing that, by recognizing what your habits are and taking those away, it means that your desire will come back without forcing it or faking it. Yeah, mm. it comes back It comes back naturally, and it's a long-term. Uh, it's a small tweak that'll make a big difference right, is what you're saying. Right, right. Well, yes. we, we talk about all that, and people can benefit from our years of talking to people because we kind of boiled it down to what the bad habits are. And by just changing them, you don't necessarily have to change your relationship. So many people think that, you know, it's the relationship. I've got to go to a new man or a new woman, but they run into the same thing with the next person because right. it's it, often it's not the person you need to change. It's the, it's the, habit. the habits that that got That's you there. Point. And our book is very different because we don't we don't say oh you, you know go on a date night it's going to fix everything. Go buy sexy it's lingerie. It's little things you do every day at home. Right. Because right. See, those but things I have are to just say something because I, I'm trying to think. Okay, I, I haven't called my husband by his first name in years either because we think it's weird when he calls me Maggie. I'm like why so foreign? Why so formal? Mm -hmm. We have a pet name for each other mm -hmm. that feels very familiar and intimate. So mm -hmm. I, I don't see what's wrong with that. Well, pet names, um, I mean, even like uh, Courtney Cox and David Arquette, uh, who broke up recently, they call each other Boo, which is a hip hop term. I mean, some pet names, people think, oh, it's kind of cool or it's, you know, it's, it's our sort of secret language. But it's but the way that you use it day after day, and month after month, year after year, that actually slowly ebbs away at who you are as individuals. Okay. And and some and some couples might say, oh, we call each other honey, and, and our sex life is and fine. we're fine. And you might be fine now, but it's a it has a cumulative effect. Well, it's and once it's, you and do it day after day, year exactly. after year, oh. but it's then not just honey. It's it's all the different all things the that people do. Habits, honey which is you kind of like the first here. signpost down that road. Right. And I think the more you realize what that is, what what those habits are, then you can stop yourself and you think, okay, let's save the great relationship that we have. Right. Ladies, thank you very much. Thanks for the warning. Okay. He is Mike <laughs> oh. beginning today. Yes, Mike. exactly. Hello, Mike, Mike. And, Maggie. and you are Maggie, which is I a great name. Maggie. Thank you so much to Maggie. <laughs> Thank you. Yes.